Hi, thanks so much for coming. Can everyone hear me? Okay. Um, it's really great to be here. I, uh, I'm from California, but I'm from Southern California. Uh, but I noticed that now that I live in New York, now that I live far away, um, even though when I lived in Southern California, Northern California seemed like a totally different place. But now that I live on the other side of the country, coming even coming here, I feel like I've come home, so I'm glad to be here. Um, and especially at such a great bookstore. Um, so I'll, I'll start off by just telling you a little bit about the book, and then um, I'll read from a couple of different sections and talk a little more, and then really happy to answer any questions you might have afterwards, so please just ask away. Um, so uh, this book is about uh, a young girl and her family who wake up one morning along with the rest of the world to some really extraordinary news. And the news is that the rotation of the Earth has suddenly started to slow down. Um, so the book is really the story of that global catastrophe and the way that it unfolds. But just as much, it's about a young girl growing up. It's about um, kind of all the small scale disasters of adolescence and the highs and lows of adolescence. Um, because for the young girl at the center, Julia, um, you know, certain things about her life as, a, uh, as an 11 year old go on anyway, even though this huge global change um, is happening at the same time. Uh, so a lot of times when, when, when people hear what the premise is about the rotation of the Earth slowing down, they ask me how I got the idea. Um, so the idea came from something that really happened. Um, back in 2004, shortly after the earthquake that caused the tsunami in Indonesia, I read that the rotation of the Earth, that that earthquake was so powerful that it affected the rotation of the Earth. And the result was that our 24-hour days were a few microseconds shorter than they were before. And I remember right where I was when I, uh, when I read that because I just I didn't know that was possible. And even though it was such a slight amount, such a slight change in, in the length of a day, it was really stunning to me that something I had always thought of as steady and predictable, you know, this, this steady rising and setting of the sun every day at, 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 this, at, at predictable times. Um, the idea that that was actually in flux was really haunting and scary. And I was in graduate school at the time, um, studying creative writing, so I was writing short stories. And so I decided to try to write a story um, where, because as soon as I heard that, I thought, it, I started to wonder right away what would happen if, some, if a much larger change ever happened, and if our days changed by a much larger amount than just a few microseconds. And so I wrote a short story about that. And, the short story was really kind of an experiment. I've never written anything uh, that, that broke with the rules of reality in this way. So uh, you know, I would have found it shocking at the time if, if I knew, if I was told that that story would turn out to be um, my first novel. Because, uh, I mean, not only was I not sure I ever could write a novel, I definitely wouldn't have predicted that uh, this particular story, um, because of this fantastical element, would turn out to be the one that I, that I wrote a whole novel about. Because um, it, was, it was new to me then. Um, so, so that's how I got the idea, and uh, as I said, it began as a short story, and then I set it aside for a few years, um, but I was still writing, I was just writing other stories, uh, I started working in book publishing, uh, I was an editorial assistant at first, um, and after I'd worked for a couple of years in book publishing, for some reason I came back to this 14-page this short story about the change in the rotation of the earth, and for some reason this time, uh, I started to feel like maybe there was more to the story and, and maybe there could be a novel here. And I wasn't sure if, if I could write the novel, but it felt like somebody could write this novel uh, about this concept. Um, and so I decided to try. Um, it, was, it, was, it was, you know, there was a lot of suspense for me along the way about whether I'd be able to do it. Um, but from the beginning, this, this young girl, Julia, was at the center of the story as well. Um, that, that was always part of it in the story and all the, all the way through as I was writing the novel. Um, so, so the only problem was once I came back to it and, and felt like maybe I was ready to try writing a novel, uh, by then, like I said, I had a full-time job. So, so then the biggest challenge became just trying to um, find the time to, to write. So this is a book that was really written in uh, you know one-hour increments um, in the mornings before I went to work. And it took me about four years, which felt kind of excruciatingly slow at the time. Um, <laughs> But, you know, now that it's in the past, it, it doesn't seem so long. Uh, but I, in general, I know that working as a book editor, because I sort of started as an editorial assistant, and that's when I started this book. And then I, I worked my way up until I was an editor, where it really was my job to 
um, help other authors, you know, make their books better. Um, I know that that process of becoming an editor was really good for my writing, even though it didn't leave me with a lot of time to work on this novel. Uh, but I know that I learned a lot about, you know, how to tell a story, how to um, make sure a character feels real, how to make sure the sentences are as, as clear and crisp as possible. So, so in the end, I think that was really key, even though it slowed me down in terms of time. Um, so that's, that's, that's how I wrote it. I think I'll, I'll read the opening now and then talk a little more and then read one more uh, short section. 